Hey YouTube, what up? This is Steven, and I want to come at you with something that popped into my head recently. Um, I actually thought about this while preparing for another video, um, and okay. Mixed people who are who have dark skin, right? Does it seem like people really quote unquote check for their mixedness, if you get what I'm saying, when the person is dark skin? And what I mean by that is oftentimes when we think and acknowledge mixed people, usually it revolves around like some type of like at least us in the black community, right? It revolves around their distance from blackness as well as like racial ambiguity. But I feel like when it comes to dark skin mixed people, it seems like people aren't really checking for their, like black people in particular aren't really checking for their mixedness, let alone people outside of the community. Like people aren't checking for their mixedness like they're checking for like um, the mixedness of, say, a lighter skinned black person, right? Like, for like in my experience, like I'm not technically mixed in the sense that I don't have like a parent who doesn't identify as black and a parent who does identify as black. I have two parents who do identify as black, um, and of course I've kind of like talked about this in other videos as well so I won't really go into it uh, much on this video but yeah it seems like for me in my personal experience I've been asked about my race like a lot of different times in my life you know more times than I can count on my fingers and toes I've been asked the question about my race um, <clears throat> and I think in my experience when talking to some um, darker skinned black people who do actually have like you know quote unquote you know a, a somewhat you know exotic pedigree um it seems like they aren't really able to represent that people don't check for it if they call themselves or refer to themselves as like mixed or you know some non-black identity people are like you ain't like well you ain't part puerto rican you know you ain't um you know a Latino, you ain't, uh, you know, East Indian, etc. Right? Because for we like, we have like an idea of what mix is, and for some reason, I think we don't want to acknowledge the mixed like mixedness when it comes to darker skinned people. For some reason, I guess because it's not considered exotic, quote unquote. Um, but I, that's something that I notice, right? And I guess we can kind of, perhaps could that be like a, you know, you know, a, uh, be associated with, you know, darkism, you know, uh, coined by uh, the world's first dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. Like, could that be considered like darkism, like people not wanting to acknowledge like dark skin mixed people, right? Because, you know, we got, like, you know, Chili from T from TLC. She's mixed, you know. People don't really refer to her as mixed, but she's mixed. You know, Tatiana Ali from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She's mixed as well. She's uh, darker skin. People don't really acknowledge that. <clears throat> I feel like with Zoe Saldana, people do, but they don't. I think her situation is a little different, all right? Um... Let's see. But oftentimes when we think of mixedness, it these type of mixed people really don't come to mind. We think of people who are more like, you know, the color of a freshly toast eggo waffle or lighter. You know, we think of like, you know, perhaps swarthy um, people as well. <clears throat> and I guess some people may be asking, well, is this really a big deal, right? You know, like, is this really a big deal? 
it doesn't matter if you're mixed or not, right? But, and that's an argument, you know, but at the end of the day, it kind of does matter. I mean, it does. In a perfect world, it wouldn't, right? In a perfect world, it wouldn't matter. But we're not living in a perfect world and race is a factor. And it matters because these people have other identities. And if they try to express an identity that is outside of blackness, we kind of give them give them the side eye, you know? But if, you know, if I, you know, set up here, you know, and this is before I, you know, declare myself as black and whatnot, right? But if I was up here and I was like, oh, you know, I'm Hispanic, you know, no one would really question that, I don't think, right? But if, like, another YouTube user who is very popular, um, but, you know, puts out a lot of negative videos about black people, especially black women, and more especially dark-skinned black women, right? If he said he was Hispanic, you know, a very dark-skinned black man, right? You know, black facial features as well, you know, black features, right? If he said he was Hispanic and also has a Hispanic last name, right? If he said he was Hispanic, then people would kind of be like, what? You ain't Hispanic. Even though he has, like, you know, the last name and perhaps, like, a family, you know, a mother or father who is Hispanic as well. But it seems like folks ain't really checking for it. You know, it's like, you ain't mixed. You like again. It's kind of like darkism, I guess, in a way. It's like, you know, how dare you say you're mixed? Almost, you know, like you must hate yourself. <laughs> you know, like again, like even though they're leg this person does have a legitimate claim to mixedness. You know, I have, I've had coworkers um, who have sort of gone through something similar to this. I know. At a previous job, um, I had uh, this um, girl I used to work with, and she was, um, you know, part black, part Latino, but she looked black. And she just said that she claimed a black identity, not like an Afro Latino identity or a Latino identity, um, because people had a, you know, a definition and an idea of what Latino is. Or Latina is, and she's not a part of that, right? Um, or she feels that she's not a part of that, right? As well, I've had other co workers, um, another co worker um, who's part Cuban, right? And from the look of him, you know, he looks like he's like, you know, black, you know, he has like really dark skin, you know, the black facial features, you know, the, but the hair texture, though, that's the thing. Uh, and I know, like, he was saying that kind of like a jokey way, like, oh, you know, hey, you know, I'm park human. What's up? You know, like, and <clears throat> I did take note of his hair texture uh, before, like, you know, during our interactions together throughout, you know, the job. Right. Um, I'm like, you know, his hair texture for him to be really dark skin uh, didn't seem to, you know, quote unquote, match up to the hair texture that I would expect for him to have. It wasn't as coarse, you know, as I expected it to be. It was actually more so similar to my hair texture. And, you know, and he had brought up that he was part Cuban, but in like a jokey way. And I had asked him, are you actually part Cuban? And he had said he was like, oh, okay. You know, <clears throat> but that's the thing though. Like, People don't really check for your mixedness if you don't look a certain way, you know? And I kind of feel like that is sort of just, I don't think that's fair, you know? I don't really think that's fair uh, because <clears throat> it seems like people really want to make a big deal out of mixedness, um, but only if it looks a certain way. Right. If you look in, if you black and you look in mixed, I mean, if you black and you are mixed, or look black and you're mixed, it ain't no big deal. If you look racially ambiguous and you're mixed, it's kind of a big deal. And if you look white and you claim mixedness, it's a really big deal, right? So I say like, you know, it's just like, 
more discrimination against darker skinned people, right? Like, oh, dark skinned people can't be like, you know, mixed or considered exotic and mixed, right? But I guess maybe perhaps this is sort of like not really a topic that we would re really be talking about in any other format, not format, but any other situation, we probably wouldn't be talking about this topic. And honestly, um, this topic is, you know, it's probably not like the most important topic we could be talking about, but I think it deserves a little attention, you know. Um, and as well, I feel like if a dark-skinned person were to bring up this topic, particularly a dark-skinned mixed person, they would be considered like a self-hater, right? They have issues, you know, with the color of their skin. They just want to be, you know, claim mixedness to um, get away from blackness, right? You know? <clears throat> no. And another person who's mixed but doesn't really look mixed, uh, Barack Obama, uh, former President Barack Obama. Like, when he first came on the scene, I didn't know he was mixed. I thought he was just, like, a, a black person, you know? Kind of like, just like his wife, you know? But, you know, he does, he is mixed. And that's the thing, like, he has the, you know, the the receipts to back it up, too, right? We know that he has, like, a white mom. So he has the receipts to back it up. And I feel like if you had the receipts and you're a dark-skinned person, then perhaps they kind of want to, perhaps they might acknowledge it. But if you don't have the receipts which dark skinned people t typically don't because you know who co who goes around what person goes around carrying the receipts about their mixedness right um but yeah <clears throat> i know this is probably like an odd topic to be talking about you know but i do think it's something that is worth ex you know examining uh, just a little bit and just kind of like think about why that is you know why is that why do we kind of like don't treat mixed people like across the board the same? It's sort of different. <laughs> and I'm not, I guess I'm not completely sure why that is, but I have a reason that I think could be the answer. <clears throat> I guess I just think that, um, you know, it's just almost sort of like a, a subtle disdain for darkness and you know oftentimes maybe feeling like that's not really something that's special <laughs> you know even though it is definitely like especially like a person who's like really dark skin that is something that's really special like that's something that you know for me personally is like really like you know, captivating and mesmerizing, like, you know, like, whoa, you know, like, you know, it's something that really captures my attention. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, for other people, maybe not so much. You know, but it's like, you know, dark skinned people aren't allowed to be mixed, right? Light skinned people are, even though I'm not, I have been confused. I have been mistaken for it a lot of times, you know, and as well, I even recognize that there is a benefit to that, you know, there, you know, as odd and awkward as some of the conversations can be, you know, that does ultimately sort of come with a benefit in some situations and many situations, depending on the situation you're in, right? <clears throat> um, I know in my personal experience, um, you know, I kind of, the question is, is a little weird for me. <laughs> you know, I've done a DNA test, so now if this comes up, I'm just like, watch the video, or here's my, <laughs> here's my DNA results, right? <clears throat> uh, but before, right, you know, especially like back in school and stuff, um, it was sort of a, kind of like an odd question you know and often like back in like elementary school and whatnot and some in middle school it was asked in like a roundabout way like oh how do your parents look right but then i think in elementary school it was kind of like that but then in middle school it was like you know the mixed questions started definitely and then at one point they wound up just coming to a head when it just seemed like the whole class it just seemed like it 
it may not it may have not been the whole class, but it was like a group had just asked me that question. And that's happened a few times. <laughs> a couple of times at least when like it seemed like a group of people asked you about, you know, what what are you? You know, how do you identify? What do you consider yourself, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> for me, the question is a little bit odd because I don't have a quote unquote exotic pedigree. I don't come you know, have like, oh, you know, I don't have like, oh, my father's Norwegian, you know, or like my mom is from Belize, you know, like I don't really have any exotic answer, any like question or anything like a really spectacular quote unquote answer to give them that would make them like, oh, wow, you know, it's just like, you know, well, you know, I'm black, you know, um, you know, I consider myself black, I'm black. And like that, and sometimes that's enough for for people. But other times, some people want to kind of dig into it a little bit more. You know, that happens too. And then perhaps I will give more of an explanation about the dynamics of my parents, right? Um, but that's the thing too. Is like there's like this excitement and this interest about it that darker skinned people don't get or don't experience, right? Um, I know like that YouTube user I was talking about who has like the Hispanic name, um, who's dark skin and who's um, known for putting out, you know, controversial videos about black people, especially black women and especially dark skinned black women, right? He did a video about Jesse Williams one time and um, his, you know, his thoughts on Jesse Williams speaking at the BET Awards and he wasn't he didn't like it because he felt that Jesse Williams was um, assuming a black identity but Jesse Williams is not black he's mixed he felt like that right and in his video he did bring up something that I thought was a little interesting um, which was like you know, he says something to the effect of like, oh, when people meet you versus when people meet me, it's a different thing, right? When people look at you and meet you, it's kind of like, oh, you know, what are you mixed with, you know? But when people meet him, he don't get that question. People don't care about his background. People don't care about, um, you know, the culture he comes from or any of that, right? that excitement they don't have that same excitement for him and wanting to know more about him right but for Jesse Williams and folks like him there is an excitement right you know like oh you know those blue eyes like you know the hair texture the skin you know like that excitement about wanting to know and we can take this even a little further on YouTube when it comes to like um Angel Ramirez Jordan, right? He has a sort of a look about him, right? Even though Angel, you know, declares himself and considers himself a black man, people still ask those questions. People still um, even consider him Hispanic as well because of his last name and his mom as well. But when it comes to that other YouTube user, who's dark skinned but has a Hispanic last name, it's not like that, you know? And I just think that's a little weird and, I don't know, it just seems like a subtle knock toward darker skinned people, you know? Kind of like, you can't be exotic, you can't be mixed, you know? You're too dark. And while that is not like I think an issue that should be like on the forefront, you know, but I still, I guess that's something that we should, you know, address, you know, where does that thought come from? You know, why do we have that thought, right? Why do we only associate mixedness with racial ambiguity and light skinned and a certain hair texture, right? So, you know, thanks for watching. I know this video was a little odd. But thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Adios and goodbye for now.
<laughs> oh yeah, and one more thing. What if I had a Hispanic last name? Right? You would be you would kind of view me a little differently, right? What if my name was instead of Stephen Brown, it was Esteban Marron or Esteban Moreno. <laughs> right? You'd be you be asking more questions about me. All right? So, yeah. But thanks for watching.